Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I am gonna try to see today, like you know, uh, how good that full self driving is on version uh, 12.3.4 for your daily tasks, right? If you are going to a you know grocery store, so in this case, I am going to the nearest Whole Food Market, and I put the directions in. My settings for my autopilot are uh, assertive for the full uh, my profile, right? And then uh, also like if you look at or i don't know if you can look at it but like my speed limit settings are at relative right so in my last video i mentioned a few things for like daily tasks once you start using the full self-driving i don't think there's any going back you know uh, you will basically be needing this feature uh, on your daily drive it's gonna spoil you i'm not kidding you and then um, also like if you look at the offering at the moment 99 dollars a month for the full self-driving so i think it's a very good price and you can cancel it anytime as opposed to buying it outright for twelve thousand dollars let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below and like again i'm driving on local roads i try to you know follow similar paths in my most of my videos just to see what has changed or if anything has uh, you know been like a problem since so uh, if you've been following some videos that i posted in the past so this intersection is where we're gonna have a stop sign and then this car should uh, go into the far left lane let's see with version 12.3.4 if that is gonna happen because in all the previous versions it was not able to you know pick the right lane right so it was also going in the middle lane middle lane goes straight after the stop sign and we have to go left so it's supposed to go to the far left uh lane uh, let's see if anything is going to change today and if you guys can see there are three lanes here this this right lane extreme right is going right uh, the middle lane goes straight and the far left is where we should be going but uh, FSD has been struggling to actually go to the far left lane it goes into the middle lane and then try to make a left from the middle lane I'm gonna test it on 12.3.4 and see what happens so now again left as you can see this lane is for going straight uh, and this is not the lane to turn uh, left wrong right so fsc 12.3.4 still is not uh, picking this up the right way okay so i will let it like uh, make a left turn let's see if it's gonna safely do that while being in the middle lane so let's see which let's see so it's doing that i know the person behind me is probably not happy about it <laughs> but uh it did, did, did it anyways right so Uh, 12.3.4 another thing that I've noticed like if you can see here or like here like you know the car is not like staying very much to the far left side it's you know maintaining like a much like safer distance I would say uh, some people were complaining about like the car being too close to the curb when making turns and like uh, when you're driving too right I think uh, they have fixed that in the 12.3.4 I don't see that anymore still get like prompts you know here and there to shake the steering yoke or like to put some pressure here just to let the car know that I'm you know, paying attention and there is a camera here uh, as well uh, I don't know if you can see it in the video but like that's a camera that is inside the car so 
I know it's a privacy concern, but like you know, if you want to use the full self-driving, I think that this is the camera that is looking at your you know attentiveness and whatnot, right? If you are using a phone while behind the yoke, it's gonna start giving you warnings too. So you can always uh, you know turn it off. I think there's an option to turn it off. So I mainly use it when uh, yeah, I usually block it when you know family members are sitting in the car but if I'm by myself making these kind of videos I don't care so you know this thing is there also if you are trying to learn FST or trying to see the patterns I would say or I would suggest keep your route same like pick four or five different routes which you want to you know test this thing on and like repeatedly try to uh, go over those routes so that you can see what has improved from the last version then you can have a better you know, understanding so in the assertive mode like uh, lane changes are a little bit more frequent and aggressive I would say uh, the distance that your car is gonna maintain from the car in the front is a little bit less as well that's uh, another thing that I've noticed, but I, I don't think uh, there's any problem or any issues with that. I didn't run into anything so far. And again, as I mentioned in all of my videos, you're still responsible for this feature if you're using it. So make sure that you're paying full attention, although the car is driving by itself, but you know, you should be ready to take over at any point since this is FSD supervised. So you are the supervisor here. <laughs> If you haven't watched my last video, I did some testing on the U-turns as well. Uh, no problems at all. Perfect U-turns by FST. So, yeah, this is gonna spoil you. Like you know, especially if you drive uh, other cars, you are gonna be missing a lot of these things if you get used to it. day out like this you'll see a lot of uh, nice sports cars and you know muscle cars and whatnot on this road there used to be a drag racing strip close by it's just closed down but uh, you know probably people are still meeting and hanging out doing car meets and stuff so I'll always see like traffic going that way on the other side some good cars and stuff see this it's showing the exact same thing here that this truck is towing a car this is really impressive so, you can see this here I can see this here too so, changing lane you can see that safely doing so almost 0.5 miles from our destination we'll go there and we'll test the auto park as well okay it's not turning from here I usually usually turn from here but it's going a little bit further ahead and it's going to turn, right. turn from here actually okay so again i'm keeping an eye on the curb like fair distance no issues and we should make a left here now your destination is on the right it didn't do that it's basically going in front of the store so that's fine 
I will take over at some point. So auto navigation complete. That's what it says. So it brought me to this place. And let me park the car now. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna park in the front right here. I'm gonna probably go on the back side and park there. So, and we'll, we'll use the auto park feature to park the car. So there you have it guys, the car also auto parked by itself, uh, it, it took a little bit long I think uh, because of the direction that I was in, uh, but yeah it works perfectly fine every single time, I've tested it a few times and have made videos about this too. So let me know what your thoughts and opinions are, I think the FSD 12.3.4 supervised, I think it's the best FSD version to date so far and works great as well picks up on a few things based on your driving patterns too so as they mentioned they are using the neural networks so I'm assuming they are using uh, the data that was collected over the years and like trying to make it as humanly as possible so if you are interested in this kind of these kind of videos please uh, you know consider subscribing I'll be making more content around these things and uh, share your feedback in the comment section down below until next week goodbye take care and stay safe